I'm very excited to do some dribbling drills with you guys today. Before we get into those specific drills, I wanna talk a little bit about dribbling technique and mentality and a few tips I want you guys to apply whenever you're practicing your dribbling or dribbling in games. So first of all, obviously, as I always talk about in my dribbling videos, when we're dribbling forward, it's the outside of the foot or the toe touches like that. Then to change direction, we're either using the outside, inside, you can use the sole of your boot. But when we're going forward, you want those little touches because it's more natural in your stride. So those little touches be outside of the foot. It's more natural in your stride rather than running like this. Ridiculous. Okay, so outside of the foot, and then you'll turn those different ways. Next thing I want you to think about is actually dribbling with your body. And what I mean by that is if you want to be a good dribbler, you want to change direction effectively, you need to play a little lower to the ground and dribble with your body. So I'm not dribbling up here straight like a big tall tree, okay? I want to get low. I want to get low down here and I can change direction much quicker, okay? So think about getting lower to the ground. Not only is that going to help you change direction with more efficiency, it's going to help you protect the ball better. So for example, if a defender is trying to get the ball from me, I'm much more likely to protect it down here than I am up here. I'm gonna get knocked off the ball like that. Okay, so when you're dribbling and especially changing direction, get lower to the ground. It'll help you push off. It'll also help you protect the ball. Last thing I wanted to talk about was whenever you get a bit of space, open space in front of you, you're not jogging with the ball, okay? You wanna get that out of your feet a bit more and sprint with that ball, okay? So especially when you're practicing these drills, anytime you have a little bit of space to sprint with, practice actually sprinting with the ball. Because dribbling, turning these little touches is one thing, but being able to sprint with the ball and keep good control is totally different. So make sure you're actually practicing that because if you do that in practice, when you're in the game, it'll be natural. So let's get into these drills. If you want to become a great dribbler, it's about putting in the practice and it's not going to happen overnight. But I promise you, if you are consistent with your training, if you're working on these drills every day of the week, I promise you next week, 
a month later, a year from now, you're going to be one of the best dribblers around. It's all about practice. It's all about consistency. And if you put it in, you're going to get the skills that you deserve. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like my videos. Please comment below if you have any questions or you have anything you want to ask me on any topic. I'd love to help you out. Please remember to share these videos with your friends and teammates. And if you appreciate my work, please support me on Patreon. I'll talk to you soon.